Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sana, Mrs. Perfect and Perfect Keto, where being perfect is overrated and being imperfect is appreciated. Today is Wednesday, it is April 5th, and I wanted to just share just a little bit of a clip with you all just to talk about today, um, because today is a very significant day for myself as well as my family. So today, April 5th, it actually marks the third year anniversary of my father's passing. Um, so as some of you know, he had passed from the big ugly C virus. So I don't wanna get too much into that because I definitely don't want it to impact this video, um, but it has been three years uh, and I wanted to share with you all only because it definitely, and I'm not embellishing this at all, if you have not already seen from my previous videos, I keep it entirely real with you all. Um, I do not do anything with my videos where I put on a facade, I'm just real and just completely raw with you all. For me, I don't feel like it does anyone any good to be anything but myself. So when I tell you all that I truly feel like this way of eating in comparison to when I was doing a ketogenic way of eating, I definitely feel and can attest to this carnivore way of eating truly has changed me emotionally, mentally, and I'm truly thinking hormonally as well um, because I honestly don't feel how my mentality as well as emotionally would have changed unless it definitely was an impact, a positive impact when it came to my hormones. So let's rewind back to the way I was when my father initially passed away. I was in such a dark place. I cannot even describe how dark of a place I was in. I had a lot of dark thoughts I was going through and there was nothing that would have been able to change the thoughts that I was going through. Um, you know, people would tell me, oh, think of your kids, you know, you're a mother, think of them. That did not matter. When someone is in such a dark place, mentally, you do not have any rational thinking at all. You are just stuck in this dark place and you don't think about anything, no matter who you have in your life. If you have children, um, if you have a loving significant other, it all does not matter. It really does not. That dark place consumes you. It consumes every single positive thing you have in your life and you are just in this dark place that everything just feels like darkness. I truly feel like it is just miraculous that I went through such a darkness like I did, that I went through depression, anxiety, anger, everything that I went through. And now to come to today, three years later, and not be soaking my pillow with tears, not being bitter and angry with the ones that I love the most. For me, I just, I'm a different person than who I was three years ago. 
So when I make a statement like I think that this carnivore way of eating truly changed me um, hormonally, emotionally, and mentally, I do not say that lightly. And I am not saying it just because I am doing a carnivore way of eating because I am a huge advocate in you do you, whatever way of eating is going to allow you to reach your better health goals. That is what I want you to do. But I also want to also advocate with the carnivore way of eating for those that might be fearful to start it. I'm going, you know, over 90 days now. And that is without dairy. You know, in the future, do I have plans to reintroduce dairy? Yes, I, I definitely do because I definitely want to do my N equals one experimenting when it comes to dairy. I'm just, I'm not ready for it as of yet. So when I tell you all, it is a lot more simple when we look to the positive things that we can get from this way of eating instead of thinking of all the things that we're missing. I think a lot of times we ponder and we focus so much on the negative, but we don't allow ourselves to look forward to all the positivity that we are gaining. I wanted to also share with you all, I had someone that had asked me if I possibly am feeling this renewed way because I possibly do not miss my father greatly like I did as if when he first initially passed away. And to me, that is such a silly, such a ridiculous statement or question that anyone could ever present to someone that has experienced such a significant loss. Um, so significant loss, a parent, uh, uh, a close dear friend, God forbid if your child passed before you, a significant other passing away. If someone came at you with that question years later from when they passed, that you possibly just don't miss them like you used to. This person said this virtually to me. <laughs> Thankfully, they said it virtually to me because I'm going to tell you right now, I am not a violent person. I will never promote violence, but that right there, yeah, that would have really tested me. <laughs> but for me, that is like asking me, Sana, do you need oxygen? Absolutely. Absolutely. I need oxygen to live. I need oxygen to survive. My organs need oxygen. So just like I need oxygen, I still needed my father in my life. So for me, I still miss him. Absolutely, I still miss him. But I don't miss him in such a way where it is emotionally, mentally, and physically causing me harm. I have allowed myself to heal. I'm continuing to heal. Do I feel like I'm 100% healed? No, I'm still a work in progress and it's okay to still be a work in progress. As long as I'm still allowing myself to progress, that is still a win in itself. So I wanted to be sure to share this with you all because I know you all definitely know why I ended up gaining 42 pounds 
um, after being 15 months on the ketogenic way of eating. But today, truly, it really just had me get through a lot of thought process because I am like a renewed person today. I am like a totally different person than who I was three years ago. Um, today, I did not sit in sadness. I did not sit in depression. I got up. I did my stretching. I did my one mile on the treadmill. I gave myself a shower. I homeschooled my kids. And right before recording this, I actually made some more hollandaise sauce and my kids loved it. Last time I made that hollandaise sauce, oh my goodness. They, I almost didn't get a portion to have on my taco meat because they absolutely loved it. So I actually made a triple batch this time. So they're definitely going to be able to enjoy some as well. And I definitely will have plenty for myself. But as far as for dinner, I'm going to show you all what my plate's going to look like. I'm not going to do any cook with me's because we have some leftovers that we're needing to use up. So that big daddy steak piece that I had for myself with that side of shrimp and that melted butter. Oh my goodness. I definitely devoured and enjoyed every single bite. I'm a big eater and I definitely tore up all of that meaty goodness. But my family, they actually had two steaks remaining. So definitely I'm going to do something with the two remaining ribeye steaks. And we also have a little bit, a portion of the short ribs that I had pressure cooked. And I definitely have to see what else we have. So if that is all we simply have on hand, I may just add either some butcher hot dogs or possibly some burger patties. So I'll have to see and kind of get a little bit creative, but also without spending a lot of time in the kitchen because that has been another awesome victory about this way of eating is because with our ketogenic way of eating, I had to be very creative when it came to our weekly meal planning. There was definitely a lot of ingredients we were purchasing. So it was definitely more of a cost when we went to the supermarket and did our grocery shopping. And I just been loving just the stress freeness of just being able to stick to our meats. And of course, you know, my family, they're still having their cheese, but still yet yeah, that is so minimal just purchasing different types of cheeses for them definitely minimal in comparison to the shopping we were doing for a ketogenic way of eating so i'm sure you all don't need to see what it takes to simply heat up and warm up leftover meats but I will definitely update you all and show you all what my plate looks like for this one meal a day dinner. So I hope that this little bit of a talk can at least help one of you out there. If you are struggling with something emotionally, mentally, definitely think about your hormones being affected. There could be a certain component to your way of eating that just needs and requires change. And I think it's so important when it comes to food, do not allow any particular food to be holding you back from your better health goals. Those foods definitely do not mean more than your better health state. They definitely do not. Do not allow what you're missing to impact you. Instead of thinking and focusing on what you're missing, especially when it comes to foods, think ahead of how much you can be gaining. If you just allow yourself to be free of any of those foods or any particular way of eating holding you back. 
All right, well, stay tuned, friends. Coming up next will be my plating up for my one meal a day dinner. <laughs> I do have my one meal a day dinner plated up so I have some of the leftover ribeye steak that I simply just cut up and shredded a whole chicken that was left over from earlier in the week so I just simply saute them together with some butter and I have two of the air fried butcher hot dogs on the side and I also have that homemade hollandaise sauce and I simply just put it in a serving dish. That way I can just utilize it for some dipping. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this while it is still hot. I want to thank you all for joining me on this Wednesday. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Take care, friends.